Like previous years, this time also the main function of National Science Day was organized at Vigyan Bhavan, New Delhi on 28th of February. Union Minister for Science and Technology and Earth Sciences, Dr. Jitendra Singh, Principal Scientific Advisor to the Government of India, Prof. Ajay Kumar Sood, Secretary Department of Science and Technology, Dr. S. Chandra Shekhar, former Principal Scientific Advisor, Prof. K. Vijay Raghavan, and secretaries of other science ministries, concerned officials and dignitaries were present. On this occasion, the Union Minister launched the Webhaw Fellowship for Indians living abroad. The Union Minister said, the fellowship will enable the best of diaspora minds to collaborate with domestic minds to deliver world-class projects and products. Speaking on the occasion, the Union Minister said that India's scientific power will define and determine India's future economy in the next 25 years. The world is looking up to us. And is looking up to us because we have vindicated ourselves. Uh, we have vindicated ourselves with definite markers. In the Global Innovation Index, we have jumped from 81 to 40, all in the recent three, four, five years. In the publications, we have jumped from six to three. In the startup ecosystem, we have emerged number three. But I said in 2015, when the call was made for Startup India, Startup India, nobody understood whether it was meant to be started up or meant to be stood up. And therefore, the world is ready to be led by India. And the question is, are we ready to lead? Seeing the confidence of these bright brains sitting in this room, I dare take and gather the courage to say, yes, we are ready. Today is a day of celebration of science, which has touched and shaped our lives over so many years in all aspects. This year's theme, as given by our Honorable Minister, Global Science for Global Being, Well-Being, is significant for India in its years, uh, in the year of its presidency of G20. And we strive for innovation and science and technology to benefit the entire planet. We have a dedicated department, National Council for Science and Technology Communication, which has been supporting various programs for science promotion through state SNT councils. Not only are we taking science to people and making it popular, but we are also recognizing the efforts of scientists, especially the science communicators, who are engaged in the process. The department has also instituted many awards which will be presented today on this auspicious day. You've already heard about the importance of the National Science Day and also from the Mantriji about the directions our science and technology has, are taking. The broad topic for today's theme is global science and well-being. And the question is, um, which are the many areas of this broad theme that one can focus on? There are many, many important areas, climate change, agriculture, health, and so on. And today, I'll talk briefly about the brain and health and illness. On the occasion, national awards in the field of science and technology communication were distributed by the Union Minister in the presence of other dignitaries. The awards, including certificates, mementos, and prize money, were given under six different categories. The National Award for Outstanding Efforts in Science and Technology Communication in general was awarded to Karnataka Science and Technology Academy. The National Award for Outstanding Efforts in Science and Technology Communication through print media, including books and magazines, was presented to Prof. Maya Dhar Swain of Bhubaneswar, Odisha, and Dr. Biju Dharmapalan from Tiruvananthapuram, Kerala. The National Award for Outstanding Efforts in Science and Technology Popularization Among Children was presented to Dr. Krishna Rao Apasani, a biochemist from Hyderabad, and Dr. Uday Kumar Kakru from New Delhi. Tarur Kumar Jain from Jaipur received the National Award for Outstanding Efforts in Translation of Popular Science and Technology Literature in Languages, mentioned in the 8th Schedule of the Constitution of India and in English. The National Award for Outstanding Efforts in Science and Technology Communication through innovative and traditional methods was presented to Anjan Banik, an assistant teacher from Agartala, Tripura. And the National Award for Outstanding Efforts in Science and Technology Communication in Electronic Medium was presented to Rakesh Andania, 
a science communicator and filmmaker from New Delhi. This year we have received outstanding science communication award from the Honorable Minister. This is for our last five years work on science outreach program. We have covered entire educational pyramid in the Karnataka in the sense from high school to the university level for students benefiting the students studying at various levels. This award which I am receiving today is uh, symbolize the work of the youngsters in this country and I really love to dedicate this award to the uh, bright minds of the nation and the great citizens of this country. और ये प्रयास हमारा लगभग 23 सालों से चल रहा है वैज्ञानिक दृष्टिकोण के रूप में वैज्ञानिक दृष्टिकोण देश का एकमात्र हिंदी विज्ञान समाचार पत्र है और इससे पहले समाचार पत्र का कोई कॉन्सेप्ट भारत में नहीं था हालांकि मैगजीन कुछ हैं लेकिन अखबार की अगर कैटेगरी में बात करें तो पहला अखबार वैज्ञानिक दृष्टिकोण ही आया है और हम उसको तो पिछले 23 सालों से लगातार तो, तो प्रकाशित कर रहे हैं The presentation of Avsar trophies, which encourages researchers, is an important activity on National Science Day. This time too, researchers who wrote popular science stories in the postdoctoral category for 2022 were awarded the Avsar trophies. The release of five publications was also a special part of the event this year. These include Women Engineers in India, Landmark Achievements in Engineering and Technology in Independent India, technological preparedness for dealing with national disruptions selected popular science stories for the year 2021 and vigyan vidushi 75 women trail blazers of science these are all published by vigyan prasad an autonomous institute of department of science and technology